Hey everyone. So, <clears throat> what I wanted to talk about today was some things that uh, Tom and I went through on the weekend. And, um, you know, it's, it's the beginning of January, and in Hamilton, Ontario, where McMaster University is, we actually own a couple of student rental properties. And this is the time of year where people are leasing out these properties for next year. So they sign leases now for the, this coming May until April of 2010. So it actually works out really good because you get a lot of lead time. Up, you know, you get to secure people way before they move into the property, which is kind of nice. But something happened um, when we started advertising our property. In the past, we've only had to advertise online on the off-campus housing website. And we've got a really good response. But when we started, we started advertising this time, we noticed that we didn't get as much response. And, and this was kind of big news to us. because We're like, well, we got to make sure that we're on top of this because this isn't just like a, a little rental. What happens is this rental, if we're renting it out for roughly, it's about $2,500 a month, it's actually just over, that works out to just under, um, that works out to $30,000 actually over the course of a year, right? So one of the properties, one property, we have $30,000, right? And on the second property, it's actually a little bit less than we're renting it out for. So it works out, I think it's like 2400 or 2350 So let's just say that it works out to about $28,000. Now I'm not saying this to brag or anything, but these are big numbers to us and this is why we had to take it seriously. Because all of a sudden our ads aren't pulling at the prime time to rent out these properties. And in total, what we're looking at is $58,000 of income over the next 12 months. Right, 58,000. So we had to figure something out. And this is the biggest stumbling block that happens with investors, is they don't really understand what to do. There's, there's a little bit of a, a problem, you know, they don't have the same leads that uh, coming in that they thought they should, and now they're not really sure. So, you know, we thought about it, we're like, well, what do we want to do? One of the things we want to do is we want multiple parties interested in the house there at the same time. This is a big, big, um, uh, tip because it, the multiple people at the house is what generates this additional demand for your home to make people snap it up because then they don't feel they have the opportunity to say okay well you know what I'm gonna think about it and I'll come back and, and we'll figure it out from there so we're like how are we gonna get these multiple people if we're not getting the leads off our online ad advertisements so we knew people are gonna be out this is the time we've done this before we hadn't done it in three years because the last time stayed for a while but we knew people would be out looking at other homes. So we're like, well, you know what? We gotta get word out there. We gotta plaster the area with something to get people to our homes. So this is what we use. This. <laughs> this pretty sign, bright orange, orange bill, uh, fluorescent Bristol board to get people out there. But th this was the magic. No one else in the entire area had open house signs. So we were doing something that differentiated ourselves from all the other landlords out there. And what ended up happening? We, only, we went down with only one appointment booked. We ended up getting about seven groups of people through the home. Two people were in there at the same time and were actually started bidding for the property. Now we didn't actually make them bid higher, uh, but what we did say is, is you know, whoever is serious and will sign leases and bring some money today as a deposit will take. And there was one group that did that. So by going out there and differentiating ourselves from what other people were doing, we were able to lock up $58,000 in income over the next year. So it was a, it was a pretty big weekend for us. And I'm not, I'm not trying to say that to, you know, to brag or anything. I'm just saying like, when you look at these numbers, you know, your rental numbers over the course of a year, there's some pretty big numbers there. So you gotta, you gotta take action and you gotta start thinking outside the box and make things happen. And if one avenue is not working, then you gotta look to the next one. And you gotta be doing multiple things at the same time to get something done. So, so don't just stick with one ad. If it's signs and it's an ad and it's online and it's offline, you gotta do everything together to get it done.